This is the Gorilla Wood Filler Kit. I have a piece of wood with a one third inch hole in it. I'm going to fill the hole and see what type of surface I'm left with and how well it takes the paint. It comes with a putty knife, a sanding block, and then we have our tub with our wood filler and this is the eight ounce tub. And here's the back with some information and directions. You can pause the video if you'd like to read it. And this is the texture. It's a little bit grainy, a little bit dry. So I'm going to fill the hole. I'm going to put as much as I can in the hole. And this is a small hole and you're going to see me testing it on the corners also. So I'm just packing it in and making sure that it's flat. Just make sure to seal your tub properly to ensure that you get a longer shelf life. So this is where I went wrong. The direction specifically said to remove uneven edges and debris and I did not do that. So I'm just using my sanding block and I'm sanding the area and the result was very smooth except for that little nick. You can see it right there in the wood. Okay and now it's dry and you can still see it. So just for a little satisfaction I cut two other spots. One on the corner and a larger one in the center. And I'm making sure to use my sanding block this time and I'm sanding the area first. So now I'm reapplying the product and I'm just taking my time to get my corners aligned. So when I'm done, it will look like a damage was never there. So here's my repair and the paint looks good. It looked like it was just one solid piece. You can't tell that the damage was there except for the piece of wood that's hanging out. So now I'm going to be using this wood screw and I'm just going to drive it down into that area and this is how it came out and it's very nice and strong. I'm going to pull it out just a little bit um, so it's not touching the wood itself. And as you can see I unscrewed it and I screwed it back and it's still nice and firm. So I left it to dry for 6 hours and I'm sanding it and I'm also using a sandpaper that I already have. And that way my sanding block will last me maybe the entire tub. And as you can see, it's nice and smooth and I'm painting over it and the corners look seamless like there was nothing there. Like seriously, I'm really impressed with this filler. There's no discoloration and there's no shrinkage. It's like it's one solid piece of wood. And as you can see, it dried very smooth. I'm really happy with the results. 